Soul Free with Harlan Freeman, your home for sneakers and culture, starts in four, three, two, one. Let's go. It's Soul Free, and I'm Harlan Freeman on the Donna Drake Show, and we are live at the New York International Auto Show in the heart of New York City. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Let's go. The greatest thing about the New York International Auto Show is you just never know who you're going to bump into. And we had the pleasure of meeting this young man the other day, and uh, he's instantly become one of my favorite artists. We've got Henry Reed here, my brother. What's up? What's up? All right. How are you feeling today? Pretty good. Last day for me, okay. and I go home later today, but I'm feeling good. So you're leaving uh, beautiful, chilly New York to go back to... Uh, the warm, the warm, sunny L.A. sun, huh? Yeah, that's right. All right. How's your experience in New York been so far? Um, I love it. I, just like the vibe here is crazy, and it's so different than L.A., but the weather could work out a little bit better. But <laughs> Okay, so if we can get you the weather, you'll stay a little bit longer? Oh, yeah. All right, cool, cool. Once again, Henry is an amazing upcoming artist. His work is insane. Uh, right now you're looking at a piece you created for the New York Auto Show. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about this piece. So I was the first ever commissioned artist with the New York International Auto Show, which was just crazy, like big honor. And um, I just kind of designed it around Manhattan Motor Cars, all the brands that they represent. And so, yeah. Sick, sick. And I know you have a big show coming up in New York on April 18th. That's right. Um, is this like your first like headlining New York City show? Yes, it's the very first debut. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I see a lot of different vibes in your art, man. I'm just, it's like you're, you're like baby Basquiat. You know, you just got this vibe, and it's real. It's authentic. And, bro, I love it. I love it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, so we're just going to play L.A., New York. Uh, we're going to play a little game first. All right, cool. All right, which do you like better, New York or L.A. pizza? New York. All right. All right. Uh, sneaker shopping. I haven't done much here yet, or at all, but I'll go L.A. for now. Okay. And the weather? L.A. All right, all right. So we can take the boy out of L.A. and bring him to New York, but uh, we just can't get the L.A. out of the out of you yet. Yeah, out of you yet. A couple more shows, you're, uh, you'll be full, full, full bled New Yorker. For sure. Easy. All right, we're here with Henry Reed, New York International Auto Show, and just hit him with your Insta. Henry made that. Henry with an I. Henry made that, and Henry made that, that incredible painting. Um, we're going to see a lot more from Henry. See you in a minute. You're witnessing a little behind-the-scenes magic here at the New York International Auto Show, the 124th Auto Show. This is the annual parade of cars, some of the most amazing exotic and sports cars in the world here at the Javits Center, New York City. Let's go. All right, if there was like a prom king, I think that's fair to say. Yeah, I guess. If there was a prom king here I, at the I, New York Auto Show. I didn't make it in high school, Harlan, so right. uh, maybe I made it now. But you know, uh, Forget those guys. That's this right. is what counts right now. Yeah. We always bring all the good stuff to the show, the stuff that people want to see. And this year, especially, we have a really great lineup of, of cars. Um, my 911 collection, yes. but all the cars here, the four-seat, the uh, Koenigsegg. Uh, the Rimas Navara, we have a couple of new Karmas, which really look great. Mm -hmm. uh, the new Lambo Revolto, so, uh, you know, great lineup this year. Yeah, so once again, we're with Brian Miller from Manhattan Motor Cars. Brian, now, like, all right, I grew up, like, sneakers were my thing as a kid. Were, were cars your thing as a kid? You know, not really. I yeah. think I think girls were more than cars, but right? Uh, right. then I went to college and I got into other things and uh, got out of school and, uh, my first job was actually in the Garment Center. Okay. A guy I used to play some tennis with offered me a job, and it was great, but I didn't make any money. Right. So I decided I got into the car business, called up dad, I'm out of money, he says, come and sell cars. Okay. And we built up a nice following. Everybody seems to know us, every place we go. Um, very proud of my employees and uh, the business we built. 
And what could be better than selling these kind of cars and the people we deal with? It's just really awesome. Yeah. I love my job. Yeah. I got to tell you, I had a fanboy moment being a big Billions fan. And yeah. that in the finale, yeah. when Axe is driving down the West Side Highway and you see that Manhattan Motor Cars yeah, in the we, background. Yeah, we did, we did some uh, uh, some stuff with them uh, uh, at, the, at the dealership, I think, maybe yeah. with some cars. But uh, everybody loves Billions, I mean, yeah. so to be on there. But we've done Law and Order. We've done things over the years. I did... Uh, uh, music videos. Yep. I remember when uh, Jay Z and P Diddy all started. They were renting cars for me and buying cars for me. So it's been a long haul. It's been yeah. 40 years plus to the car business for me, but um, more fun than ever these days. Yeah. And I look at it. You know what? It's funny when you sell somebody this kind of car, right? It's not the car that's just going to get them to work every day. This is a dream come true for a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. So for 40 years, you've been helping people make yeah. their dreams come true. That's pretty special. Yeah, I agree. I, you know, it, it's great to see somebody come in who's fulfilling their dreams and yeah. really smiling and stuff. You know, there's a lot of, I guess, jaded people who come in, you know, but to see people who are really excited yeah. for delivery of their new car or have waited a year for a car that yeah. they ordered, it's special and I love that. And I yeah. you know, try to say hi to everybody that I can, but um, yeah, that's what makes it fun. Yeah. That's what makes it fun. Was so. there ever a car that you wanted so badly that you finally, that you had to wait a year for, that you were so excited. Uh, you know, it's funny, upstairs is the Stutz Blackhawk. Yes. So when I was a kid, my dad took me to the car show in, in 72, I think it was. Okay. And that car back then, I think was 22,000 and change. Wow. When every other car was two or $3,000. Yes. And uh, I'll never forget that. My dad gave me the, so they had the prototype. Yeah. And they, he gave me the prototype to use for a couple of weeks. It's used for my high school prom. So maybe I was the king of the prom after yeah, you all. Know what? You know maybe what? I yeah, maybe you had a little game. Maybe yeah, maybe you had it going. Never off. thought yeah. about that, but yeah. uh, I love that car. Yeah. But um, no, I, I have a couple of 911s now. I love 911s. Yeah. They're just great cars. No one's found the formula to catch up to yeah. that car. It's just a good day, a bad day. You get in your car, you put your top down, yeah. and everything goes away, and it's just awesome. So, and I'm really you know happy and proud to be affiliated with Porsche all these years. I'm on the board of regents with them. We get to help make policy help dealers you know, have our footing so it, it's, it's been really great yeah great ride and you have you you have your personal collection of 10 porsches here yeah, yeah. which is unbelievable you have that 1962 one which is which blew my mind I really like the 356 yeah. but like the 68 soft window was kind of yeah i'm partial to it's uh i used to drive that every day my son is here now with my granddaughter and he when he was a baby he used to ride in that car oh, that's great so uh yeah, a bunch of memories there's a car there that i sold it to salesman in 92 that I just bought back. Um, I serviced it all these years, yeah. so it's like a child to me yeah. after 30 yeah. years. So yeah. it's, you know, some, some things have a special meaning, but yeah. uh, um, cars are, it's more my business, uh -huh. but uh, like I said, I love beating the people. Every day is a new adventure, and that's the best part of our business. Yeah. So, so. Have you had, over the 40 years, have you had one specific pinch me moment where you were like, I can't believe this is my life right now, <sighs> that you can talk about? <laughs> um, you know what? Nothing comes to mind. Yeah. I mean, I have those all the time. Yeah. Right. You know, you, you know, you deal with celebrities and you deal with athletes, and that's all well and good. But ultimately, it's just you know the day-to-day -day people that you deal with. You know, and they, and these are well-heeled people. Yeah. You know, this is you know, this is not selling Chevys or Fords or anything. And they're educated and they're smart and they don't want their time wasted. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's just great being with those and whatever I go out in the city, it's always somebody at some place, you know, <laughs> you know, some restaurant that you know and, and everything else. So it's, it's been great, you know, it's, it's my life, it's who I am and who I've become and, and I love it. And I hope I, we pass it along, my dad passed it down to me and I hope I can pass it down to my son and maybe my granddaughter and so, yeah, all good. Yep. Okay, I gotta ask you one off the topic question. Yeah. When you're going out to these restaurants, when yeah. you're going out, you're seeing all the people, yeah. what sneakers do you usually have on your feet? Sneakers. Well, uh, these days I've been wearing Adidas and 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 some Hoka I like. Oh, I got, very comfortable. Yeah. Very comfortable. Like the Hoka. Crappy feet and the Hokas <laughs> feel good on my feet. So, but I'm you know I'm a, I'm a jeans and sneakers guy forever. Yeah. Everybody knows me that way, yeah. and I think the world finally caught up to me. Yeah. Right. It became a more casual world. So. See, not only king of the prom, but a trendsetter as yeah, well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, maybe not fashion, but I like to be comfortable. What can I tell you? Exactly. So, uh, well, Brian, thank you again for all your hospitality all these years, for everything you bring to the show. Your dealer, your dealerships have really become a fabric of the city, and it's so nice that they're here on display every year at the auto show for everybody to enjoy. Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, we, you know, we try to be warm and welcoming, especially to the kids. Yeah. One thing my dad always said, you know, 
be nice to the kids. Yeah. They're going to grow up and come in and buy our cars. So, uh, so I'm always around trying to let everybody in when we can, when it's not too crowded. But uh, appreciate the kind words. Of course, of course. Thank you. Once again, it's Brian Miller, Manhattan Motor Cars, New York International Auto Show, New York City. 85, 85% of all New Yorkers signed the donate check the, the box for the Donate Life Registry at a DMV office. Uh, so we are we're really grateful uh, for all of our DMV employees. Uh, there's a reason why the press conference is being held here in New York City. It's obvious, the volume, the population, the number of people who are here in Metro, metropolitan New York. So we are so grateful for the New York City press and the media. Let's hear it for them. Thank you for being here to get the word out. The fact is 8,000 New Yorkers are on a waiting list. Brothers, sisters, coaches, people from our neighborhoods who are on the waiting list. So we need to help them. And they may not be able to afford to go to the Cleveland Clinic or to go to Minnesota to the Mayo Clinic. So we have a responsibility to help them. We have 1,700 New Yorkers who have been on the waiting list uh, for over five years. So we have a responsibility, and that's why we're here today. So, so give me that knife. Here my, here my problems. We all got them. If you don't laugh, you won't cry. You don't, you're going to cry. To, to donate, to give life, the life, the life is the gift that keeps on giving. And I want to thank the people behind me for your work and your dedication. I definitely need to tell you I love you. Like I told you before, life is like a train. One day all our stop is going to come and we're going to get off. You will keep going. But remember one thing, we love you, okay? I love all of y'all out there. Later. I love you, Papa. All right. Once again, we're at the New York International Auto Show with Mr. Tracy Morgan, my guy. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love you, B. Man, you know, it's so nice to see you here. You know, usually I see your feet on the hardwood over at the garden. You know it. You know. You, you know. might not see me. I'm in the second row. You're in the front row. Well, it's okay. As long as we're down there, we here. Communication. Go next, baby. Go next. Brunson, 60 points. What? Oh, my God. He's a monster. He's, cha uh, he's changed New York City around and the rest of the team. And the rest of the team, and they're doing great this year, and I'm really happy for them. And me and you are part of the organization. That's right, that's right. We're there. We're there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So we're here, once again, the New York International Show. You've been a great friend of the show for right. years. Yeah, Brian Miller's my guy. Yeah. He's like a dad to me. Yeah. And I saw you, you've got some heat by his booth this year. Huh? You've got some heat by his booth this year. Did I? you got a little, a little nice little car up there. This well, year. I'm just glad to be a part of the show. As, as you, yeah, man, I'm around. Some, I'm around some connected guys. Yeah, you know a guy. These or two. guys are connected. You know, I know a guy. Or two. I know Brian Miller's down with the Gambino family. You know, you know, we don't know nothing about that. Um, so, was what was the car growing up? What was that one car that you well, had? I was to have? coming to the car show. I came here the first time I came here. My dad, who passed away in '87, brought me here in '75 when it was in Columbus Circle. Okay. When the car show was at Columbus oh, yeah. Circle. Yeah. So I was seeing Mustang 2 plus 2s and Volkswagens and 75. And it, this, so it, this is big for me. Right. When I come to the car show, I'm not just happy to be here. It reminds me of my dad. I love that. When I, I was a that. kid, when I was a baby. I love that. He took the time out to bring us here, all his kids, to see it. That's what it's about. It's about those personal connections. And yeah. speaking about personal connections, you're here for such a bigger reason today. You're here for the Donate Life program part of New York State DMV. I know you received a kidney. It saved your life. Yeah, um, tell me what this beautiful project means to you. Well, like the commissioner says, one by one, we have to save each other. Yeah, right. And we can do that. If we just sometimes change our mentality, rather than taking, we have to give. Mm -hmm. We have to be willing to give. 100%. And you give so much, whether it's your philanthropy, your comedy. Um, my own mother just had, she just broke her femur, her upper femur. Right. And it was I, a very I scary thing. Broken. Yeah, you know? that's the biggest bone in your body. Yep. So you need your femur just to walk. Yep, and it was a, you know, a blood donation, not a, right. you know, which, uh, which, which is 
Well, Let's actually, I'm on the board of executives for Hackensack Hospital. Excellent. And we have Excellent. a lot of, we're graduating a lot of doctors. We just found a cure for sickle cell. We're leading in cancer research, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. And I'm on that board with Harry Carson and Eli Manning and John Stewart. And we're going to do, all, no matter where I'm at, I'm going to do my best God just to give, baby. I'm uh, partners with uh, God Loves We Rock in New York City, mm -hmm. which delivers food to those. Yeah. And I'm also partnered with the food banks of New York. Mm -hmm. And I love them. And we, five, six times a year, we give out food and toys and, clo and coats and stuff to those. Hey, COVID did a number on all of us. Yeah. So there are people who need. I love, I love watching all you do. You are everything a celebrity should be. Uh, your philanthropy is incredible. Donate Life is, yeah. is beyond. I just want to thank you, my brother. Thank you. I love you, man. Love you too, my brother. So, and right. I need that sweater. I love Ronnie, it. Ronnie, hook your boy up, Ready. Ronnie. This sweater is awesome. Yeah. All right, we're here with Aisha Tater, the executive director of Donate NYS. Because we always think of New York City, but there's a whole big state. There is a big state, but there we is. need to be here in New York City. Yes, we do. Because we need New York City to register as organized tissue donors on yep. the New York State Donate Life Registry. Right. That was good. You're on. You're. You're. I'm ready. You got it. I'm on. So usually we talk about sneakers and things that are going on, um, you know, whether it's art or whether yeah. it's sports. Okay. Um, and every one of the things we talk about has been affected by your work. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. I know, because you know what you don't realize mm -hmm. is that anybody can be affected by organ eye and tissue donation. Yeah. You know, when you start to talk to people, you find out, you know, my sister or my, te you know, the teacher at my kid's school needed a transplant or mm -hmm. was a donor family. You know, it is, it's one of those things that touches people's lives and you just don't know it until you talk about it. One of my best friends, uh, two years ago, his father was in desperate need of a kidney and he was number XXX on the list. Yep. So they, they told him they found a donor. Yep. And uh, the day he came in for the surgery, his son, my friend, was sitting in the operating room to give his kidney. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. It is, to me, after doing this for 11 years, it still blows my mind about the amazing gift that yeah. this is, that, that people go on to live full and complete lives. They yeah. have grandkids, they walk their daughters down the aisle, it's so important that New Yorkers know that they can do something so simple yep. to make sure that thousands of people live, which is registering yeah. as an organ and tissue donor. When you think of how many people that we watch every day, whether it's on screen, whether it's watching Tracy's last stand-up special, yeah. Um, yeah. who yeah. these things might not have happened without, without organ donation. That's right. I mean, can we imagine a New York City without Tracy Morgan? We couldn't, right? Yeah, no, that's not a New York City I want to be in. That's Okay, so, so we want to make sure mm -hmm. that every all the thousands of New Yorkers who are waiting for a transplant get one. Absolutely. And they can register at donatelifenys.org any time of the day or night. I love that. So I do have to ask you, since you know our show is based in the sneaker okay. world. Now it. growing up, okay. was there one sneaker that like you had to have? Was there or is there you know, did you see something at school that maybe the other kids had and you were like who Man, love I the wish. Nikes, you know, right. my daughter's got like the snakeskin Nike. Okay. She's got the floral Nike. Okay. I mean, who doesn't love a Nike? Right. Michael Jordan came along, and your life yeah. was changed. Right. I right. love it. Yeah. I love it. Aisha, well, we love you. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you so it's much. It's a pleasure talking to you. And we are here once again at the New York International Auto Show. And donate. Just check off that box on your That's license. Right. Go to DMV, and there's also a website. DonateLifeNYS.org. DonateLifeNYS.org All right, so you know that if there's an area at the New York International Auto Show that's got some sneakers, that's got some art going on, that's got some other things besides cars, you know we were bound to find them. And of course, we found the one and only NYC Customs, my guy. How you doing? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. You know, what we've done here is we've brought the streets inside today. Yes, yes, we did. Yeah, so tell me, what do you got going on here at the auto show? I'm actually with uh, Never Ride Stock. Uh, they had me, you know, come in and, and engrave some uh, rims, you know, custom made. I'm actually doing a custom made Never Ride Stock uh, rim. 
So you make custom engraved rims. Now that's not stock. Hence, never ride stock, right? Uh, yes, I'm a, I'm a part of the you know the collaboration uh, group that's here at, at the New York Auto Show. So yeah, right. I'm super. So tell me, when did you first get the itch? What was the first time you saw maybe some artwork on a subway? Maybe you saw something on the side of a school and you said, you know what? I could do that. Well, actually, one of my friends in uh, seventh grade, which was a long, long time ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I always been drawing mostly all my life, but when it, when it came to uh, doing graffiti, I started in seventh grade. What was that? What was that first piece? What was the first thing you did? And like, wait, they, uh, you know, they can't. Get, it's been ten years, so you're good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like ten years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, actually, um, the first thing I did was tag up uh, one of the classroom desks. <laughs> okay, well, I think we all started by doodling on a desk, maybe you know, our name and some black print. Uh, when you were first tagging, when you first got into it, what was the sneakers you had on your feet back then? Honestly, I, I most likely have some, uh, maybe some uh, Harachis okay. or Nikes. I always like uh, Air Force Ones, uh, white Air Force Ones, so I would just tag them up. Right. You're an uptown guy. Uh, well, actually, downtown. So you're a downtown guy wearing uptown whites. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> I love it. So this is one of the pieces you're working on today. So you're doing some custom T-shirts. Yeah. So and people can roll through, pick up a shirt, get a piece customized by you. Uh, yes. Um, well, because we're inside, you know, there's so much I could actually do. But as far as like doing the hats, the trucker hats, the engraving on the rims, I could do that here. I love it. I love it. So once again, NYC Customs, we bring in the streets inside here at the Javits Center, yes, New York did. International Auto Show. You know what we do. Like I said, we might never leave here today. We are here with my guy, Mark. It's NRS Custom X. You guys do a lot of different stuff. A lot of different things. So we do fresh builds. We do any custom you could possibly think of. If you can dream it, we can make it. Um, we have an amazing studio uh, on Staten Island. It's basically it's a mini production run. So it's, it's pretty awesome. I love it. And like, like we said before, if there's, if there's going to be sneakers in a really big place, we're going to find the hub of it. And I think we really did find the hub here at NRS. Uh, so tell me, how did you get into the sneaker world? Oh, so I've been designing, developing, creating sneakers for about 27, 28 years. Okay. Uh, I've worked for New Balance, Timberland, Saucony, Teva, you name it, I've had my hands on it. Okay. And uh, about a couple of years ago, I started getting into uh, customization. My grandfather was a shoemaker from Sicily, so it's kind of in my blood. Uh, so yeah, so, um, you know, I kind of, I love this business. It's amazing. I love that. If, uh, if your grandfather was here today, what would be the shoe that you created that would make him the most proud? Oh, uh, we get deep here on Soul Free sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we get deep. Oh, uh, so he, you know what? Funny story. He yeah. did not like sneakers. Really? Not well, I feel like that generation shoes. they were not, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So um, actually, I created a bunch of different shoes uh, out of Italy that he was he would definitely be. It was all hand burnished, beautiful. I have photos of my grandfather walking the beach in Miami because that's what old Jews do. Right, and he had on you know white dress socks with white leather shoes yeah. with the gold buckles, <laughs> because he wasn't a sneaker guy either. He yeah. didn't believe in it. Yeah, yeah, loafers, you know, yeah. gotta love him. <laughs> Growing up, what was that sneaker you first saw that said, "Wow, you know what? That's pretty dope." Uh, the Harachi. I a love the Harachi. Harachi love. Yeah. I, I'm still trying to emulate what that what that feeling was. Yeah. Um, yeah I just designed a shoe for greats, and it's uh, called the Kingston. And it's, it's literally the most comfortable shoe I've ever developed. Thanks, guys. <laughs> they, don't, they don't have sneakers on? No, they're not sneaker fine. guys, yeah. It's fine. Um, yeah, so Lexington uh, for, for greats and the Brighton for the women's. But it's goat leather. It's super soft. Uh, tensile lining. But it's like, it's like literally walking with a glove. It's beautiful. And I love it. So once again, we're here with Mark from NSR Custom X. Um, what's the... Now... You've worked for a ton of brands. Yeah. Um, I see you got, you're got representing Teddy Santis to the guild today. Uh, out of all the brands out there today, who's doing things that you just you look at and you're like, wow, that's that's where I want to be a year from now? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what, the most innovative stuff I've seen out there, I really love the spin that Mischief puts on stuff. Mm, yep. It's just, 
I like the twist of like of, of what they do. It's a it's it's always innovative. It's always something new. It's super fun. So I just kind of, you know, I don't I don't know where where they'll take it next. But I love it. Even they went into their their new bag, right? They blended like three different bags: the Birkin. And I was like blown away. I'm like, yeah. to me as an artist and a designer, that's that's next level shit for me. Yeah, they definitely hit that hit that line of art, irony, and fashion. You know, perfectly. I love it. Well, Mark, I mean, I, I see you got you got guys you got guys designing here right now. Yeah, this is pretty sick. Custom builds as well. Right. So from ground up uh, Jordans to any custom you could probably think of. Um, Danny over here, like, check this out. This is some of his new stuff he's working on. That's nice. I mean, it's beautiful. That's beautiful leather. Right. That's beautiful leather. So we, we do a lot of different things from embroideries to you know just, wow. just, just stunning stuff. This is our master builder. Danny. What's up, brother? How are you? Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. He's doing all the work back there. He's getting it done. Yeah. And uh, Mark, I think I think we gotta we gotta collab on something. Uh, we're down. Yeah. We love collabs. You know, I don't sure. know what it is yet, but let's uh, let's get it done. All right. Well, I'll design it. Okay. And you promote it. I love it. Perfect. And once again, it's Mark, NRS Custom X New York Auto Show, New York City. Okay, right now you're looking at one of the dopest cars here at the 2024 New York International Auto Show. It's the Giant Astronaut Commission Custom Daydream R 993 Porsche for none other than New York Giant superhero, Hall of Famer Michael Strahan. And this car is incredible. They built it extra big inside because he's a big dude. He can't get into a little sports car. So this is one of 25 in the world. This is the first one. It was made exclusively for Michael Strahan. So what an incredible year here at the New York International Auto Show. Once again, thank you to everybody at the Greater New York Auto Dealers Association for having us. And of course, everybody, the whole staff included at the New York International Auto Show. And of course, uh, Sam's and Chris PR for bringing us out here today. And thank you to Manhattan Motor Cars for uh, sharing their home here at the New York Auto Show with us. Uh, so once again, it's Soul Free. I'm Harlan Friedman. And you're watching The Donna Drake Show.